Don't worry, Nasha. You won't have to wear your comb for long. Abyssinian white hair tripe pounds are famous for healing quickly. So not streamlined. Oops, maybe not. How am I going to smuggle you into school? There's no way you can pass as my backpack with that thing on. It's a glitter cannon, so I can celebrate when I pass the maths test. I thought it was bring your hairy ice cream to school day. My pack lunch is learning the tuba. Even Creature won't buy that. Sorry, boy. You can't come to school with me. Not while you're all coned up. <gasps> I know. Gran! <laughs> Maybe lay off the barking whilst you've got that thing on, eh, boy? Of course you can stay. Just make sure you don't get in the way of me knitting, UFO <gasps> spotting and quad biking. I like to do them all at once. Awesome sauce! You guys have fun. I'll catch you after school. Oi, Dennis, not so fast. There's only one sidecar on the motorbike. If I'm looking after Nasha, you'll have to look after Ratcha. Hmm, suppose it might be fun hanging out with Rasha for a change. Here, I'll leave you my spare so we can keep in touch. Oh, you'll need this. Come on, Rasha, we're going to be late. Don't have too much fun without me, Nasha. Hey, where are you going with that pig? What pig? All right. I miss Nasha. Hey, Olive, don't suppose you've seen a pig around here? A pig? What would a pig be doing in my kitchen? I mean, I got some flies, the occasional mouse, and I did find a fox in the larder last week, but definitely not pigs. The very thought. Anyway, why aren't you in class? <gasps> I'm so late! Dennis, you've a broken school rule at number 792. No unauthorised cabbages in class. The first time that rule has been broken. Cool! I'm the Cabbage King! <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy, you OK? Sorry, can't talk right now. Is that Dennis? Sounds like they're all having bags of fun without you. Game of basketball. Three points! Why are basketball players messy eaters? Ooh, I don't know. Why are basketball players messy eaters? Because they're always dribbling! <laughs> Keep them peeled for any sign of ration. Listen up! All the food's gone missing! But no need to panic. I've been on an extreme cooking cast, so I've knocked up a meal using the contents of the gym cupboard. Who's for big bean bags? <laughs> Whoa! She's eaten a whole term's worth of pies. Pies! OK, clearly we can't let Rasha out of our sight. We'll have to find her a disguise. Hmm, she looks about the same size as my Aunt Helga. <laughs> Oi, class! Meet our new foreign exchange student, uh, Freya! Oh, Freya, what a lovely name. <laughs> oh, hello, Freya! <laughs> Might I be so bold as to ask where you're from? She's from a, a veggie bug. Ah, a veggie bug. <laughs> I've summered there. If you want to get away from this riffraff, I'd be more than happy to show you around. 
My father's the mayor, you know. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Doesn't he realise? Oh! <laughs> oh, Russia, that was a maze beat! Come on, then, glum chops. Let's hear right in me cycle. <laughs> to take you away from these imbeciles. Today. <laughs> Wish you could have seen Rasha. <laughs> she was hilarious. Everyone loved her. <laughs> oh, who's a good girl? What a lovely piggy. <laughs> <laughs> How about when Rasha ate Walter's flowers? <laughs> you should have seen it, Nasha. Nasha? Nasha! We'll cover more ground if we split up. Just checking the den, Rasha. I'll be right back. Rasha? You here? Oh, I hope you're not in trouble, boy. Nasha! Here, boy! Anyone seen him yet? No. Sorry, Dennis. Uh, what are we looking for again? Russia? Oh, guff bombs. Not you too. about bringing you here. <laughs> now a cross between a mangy mongrel and a shuttlecock. <laughs> Farewell, pointless pooch! <laughs> you Abyssinian wirehead tripe pounds heal quickly? Last one to the den, 
Hands on stick bomb filling duty! Ah! Look out! Bertie, you lazy oaf, stop slacking! You're holding up production! Oh, oh yes, Walter. At once, Walter. At the risk of sounding interested, production of what? The product that'll make me a legend in every classroom in the land. <laughs> Walter's Wondrous Octopus Ink. Walter's Wondrous Octopus Ink helps you do hard sums and think, think, think. Walter's Wondrous Octopus Ink will in no way increase your ability to think or do hard sums. Are you sure your dad said you could turn his factory into a farm for extracting ink from mm, those things in there? <laughs> didn't say I couldn't. Now unload those octopuses! Octopi. An octopi. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember we talked about my severe plochemophobia? <sighs> Remind me. What was it? Irrational fear of honest hard work? Actually, it's tentacles. If Bertie's plochemophobic, you can't make him go near octopi. <laughs> I most emphatically can. Bertie always does what I tell him to. Isn't that right, Bertie? Um, well, uh, of course, one hates to be awkward, but... Uh... Do as I say right now! Uh, yes, Walter. Walter, can't you see? He's scared. Uh, uh, I'll be fine, as long as they don't touch my... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, honestly, if you want something done, you've got to make the right person do it for you. Oi, workman! Uh, I don't feel very well. Oh. Uh. Oh, tentacles! It's okay, Bertie. Nothing squiddy's gonna get you here. We got you away from Wilbercorp. You're safe now. Oh, thanks for all that, but uh, I must get back to Walter. Huh. Why? He treated you like a total guff donkey. Oh, that's just Walter's way. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to take it. You need to grow some backbone. Right. If I caved into every demand Paul makes, I'd never rest. <laughs> of course, Paul. Right away, Paul. <gasps> Look at me. I always stand up to people who try to make me do stuff I don't believe in. Like homework and chores. Yep. I've got the biggest backbone in town. Oh, this is all very interesting, but uh, I must go and help Walter. Don't you want to get away from Walter's tentacles for a bit? Uh... <sighs> when you put it like that... You can head back later, after we've given you a crash course in the noble art of backbone building. Listen what? We've asked a few volunteers to boss you around. All you've got to do is say no. Hey, Bertie! They forgot to empty my bins again. Sort it out, would you? Let my equipment back to the studio, will you, Bertie? Bertie, be a pal. Do my afternoon deliveries for me. Uh, um. <laughs> Let's hear it, Bertie. No. Come on, Bertie. You can do it. <laughs> OK, this training is going to have to go intense. No, no, no! No, no, no! Let's all take a break. As soon as you're done. <laughs> Results so far, epic fail. On the plus side, though, the den's never been so tidy. If only the backbone stuff was as easy, Nasha. Though I am starting to realise Walter really doesn't treat me very well. Always bossing me around, never appreciating my skills and talents. 
I'm actually quite the musician. What I'd really like is for my chum to play a duet with me. Him on his recorder, me on... Well, I'll show you. What do you need if you can't find someone to play music with you? I don't know. What do you need if you can't find someone to play music with you? A duet yourself book. <laughs> Walter never joins in with my rhapsodies on an armpit. He just yells. Bertie! Stop that filthy racket! <laughs> Did you hear me? I said stop it! Go for it, Bertie. The word starts with N and ends with... No, oh, I can't. <sighs> What's going on in here? Um... We're helping Bertie get a backbone. Yeah, so he can stand up to bossy guff buckets like you. Oh, really? And how's that working out? Yeah, thought so. Bertie oh. will never say no to me. He'll come running as soon as I snap my fingers. Huh. Report to Wilbercorp immediately. <laughs> yes, Walter. Of course, Walter. Anything you say, Walter. I'm not going to obey him. Oh, yes. Walter wants me to report to Wilbercorp, and that's what I'll do. I'll just need a few supplies. Put the stink bomb down, Bertie. Get away from the cabinet. What's that word you've been trying to get me to say all day? No! <coughs> <coughs> Whoopsie! <coughs> 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 Research shows that kids prefer their ink not to smell of fish. Everyone will buy this stuff. Now get on with battling it up. Ah, Bertie, there's a gunk build-up in Tank 7. Pop in and unblock it, would you? There's a good drudge. No, Walter. Hi, your pardon? You heard. I said no. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Come on, let's leave Walter to his... Seriously, stinky ink. Pooh. No. Huh? I feel alive. Alive! I finally found my backbone, and I jolly well intend to use it. Whoa! Can I have my scooter back, please? No! <laughs> oh, yes. We taught him well. Too well. This could turn out really bad if we don't stop him. Come on! No! No! No way, Jose! Bertie! No! Stop! No! no! Get out of here! No! Feed my octopuses! Octopi! No! So many signs telling me what to do, what not to touch. Bertie, stop! Eeny, meeny, miny, no. Ooh, fun. Which one next? Uh, those controls connect my vats with the sewer system. One wrong move and he'll flush all their precious contents away. <laughs> the whole town would be flooded with ink and octopi. That'd be one major incident. How do we stop him? He won't do anything any of us tell him. Oh, nonsense. Bertie, I forbid you to press any of those controls. Read my lips, Walter. No. <laughs> Looks like it's trio time. Uh, must I? Yes, Walter. <laughs> you sure you're happy to stick around and help Walter? Oh, yes. Walter duetted with me when I needed it the most. That proves he's a true friend. Aren't you, Walter? Just don't. Never ask me to do that again. But 
But he's going to be all right, right? Yeah, I reckon. Our backbone training won't wear off that easily. Ah, it's good to have you back, Bertie. Oh, there's so much we can do together. I can watch you massaging my octopuses, putting my socks in alphabetical order, <gasps> cleaning out... No! There you go, Dennis. An extra big helping for you today. Uh, a whole new level of disgusting. I'm impressed. Uh, oh. mm, yummy. How come Walter gets that and we get this? I've got allergies to disgusting slop. Ha! Thankfully, Daddy's the mayor. So, Walter eats what Walter wants. Time for the old drop the slot. Everyone, you know the drill. <laughs> yes! Slot dropped! Busting guff berries. Olive, a pop star. Hmm. Olive? A pop star? Seriously? We'd have noticed. There'd have been clues. One, two, one, two. Any more for any more? Even just a small clue. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't have served this food without you. I mean, there's just no evidence of a past career as a famous singer. Believe it is great. Finished already? Here, have some more. Oh. If only we could get Olive out of the kitchen and back on stage. We need something to tempt her to sing again. Yeah, some kind of singing contest. <laughs> you OK, Basha? <gasps> the Battle of the Bands. First prize, a recording contract and a world tour. If we can get Olive to enter, she'll win, go on the world tour, and we'll get a new cook. I can see it now. This has got to happen. Olive is joining the Dim Makers. I'm sorry, dearie. My singing days are behind me. My future's in sprouts. Come on, Olive. We can't win the Battle of the Bands without you. Well, it was fun being in a band. The awards, the celebrity parties, the presents from adoring fans. But honestly, I'd miss the smell of gravy. Pie face smells like gravy. Mmm, gravy. How about it, Olive? I bet your singing's even better than your cooking. Hmm? Oh, you charmers. All right, I'll get my lawyer to work up the contract. See you at first rehearsal, darling. Darling? Rehearsal? Contract? Don't worry. All big stars sign contracts. Do we want to win this thing or not? Dennis singing with a dinner lady. <laughs> FYI, Olive's won awards. Oh, please. I could beat that old slop server in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Oh, hold on. You can't. You don't have a band. Daddy, it's me. I want the best band money can buy and I want it now. Huh. I'll show that Dennis and his bin makers. Great bear. It is great. Bless it all over your plate. You better believe it. Don't be naive. It's the best of all the tastes. With gravy on your food. You'll be a real cool dude. I sauce like no other. My sisters and brothers you know what you have to choose. Raven! Yeah! Olive, you're the best. I can see it now. And first prize goes to Dennis and the Dig Makers. Oh no, dearie. First prize will go to Olive and the Dinner Makers. What? 
I think you'll find the name changes in the contract we signed earlier. <gasps> right, your job is to make sure we win Battle of the Bands. Got it? We'd never compromise our artistic principles for a tacky music competition. Cash! When do we start? Now! No, no, no! Dennis, how many times? You hold the microphone in your left hand. So unprofessional. I can't work like this. I need more gob stoppers. Where are my <gasps> gob stoppers? I put gob stoppers into the contract. <laughs> no, no, no. I told you to take the blue ones out first. How am I expected to perform when no one shows any respect to the star? Someone pick those up before I break an ankle. Not you! I need a puppy in my handbag. Get in. I think you'll find it's in the contract. No puppy, no singy songy. <laughs> what do you call a cow in a band? I don't know. What do you call a cow in a band? A moo! Zishan! Stardom's gone to Olive's head. I say we tear up the contract and kick her out. Guys, if we stick to the plan, we can ditch the slop forever. Eating slop was better than this. Oh, come on. Think of all those blandacious new school dinners. <sighs> OK. Thanks, guys. You won't regret it. All right, dearies. It's time you started dressing like stars. No way. It's in the contract. contract. You put doors on. I need to commune with my guru. Change of plan. We've got to lose Battle of the Bands, then Olive's contract goes out the window. I will always love me. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Money is worth this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're wiggling straight out of that door. <gasps> no, wait. Come back. I'll give you more money. Oh, I don't need you anyway. You'll see. I'm going solo. Solo me. So, how are we going to lose, Dennis? Oliver's a diva, but she's got a killer voice. Solo me. Killer voice! Is that water? <laughs> that, my friends, is the sound of a plan coming together. One is going so low! That's it! I'm done! You'll have to do Battle of the Bands without me and Nasha. Dennis, wait! We'll never win without you! We need you! I still don't understand the plan. Oh. Well, well, well. A little artistic spot? No, everything's fine. Dennis will be back any minute now. And I'm never coming back. Oh, no. Who's going to sing the big duet with Olive now? <sighs> I was so looking forward to winning and becoming an international superstar. <sighs> um, I still don't understand. <laughs> Hold on just a blamn dangly minute. Walter, was that you singing in the corridor just now? It was, actually. Just experimenting with my vibrato. Wow, you are good. No, he's out. Too bad. You couldn't possibly replace Dennis, as that would make him really, really, really cross. Dennis would be cross, you say? Well, I might consider helping you. Really? Really? Really. Meet the new lead singer of the Din Makers. Me! Oh! <laughs> Me. Welcome to Beano Town Battle of the Bands. Please welcome our first act of the night, Olive, Walter, and the Dinner Makers. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town. What ho, adoring fans! This one is for all the gravy lovers out there. Gravy, it is great. Bless it all over. My name is Walter. I am great. You'll never beat me. You're too late. You'd better believe it. 
I am supreme, my brilliance is a family trait. Walter! You ruined me comeback! Ow! Yeah! I think the Dinmakers just lost Battle of the Bands. Great to have you back in the kitchen, Olive. Being a pop star is all well and good, but I missed me gravy. And Walter, Daddy wasn't very happy about you losing Battle of the Bands, was he? So it's back to normal school dinners. <laughs> Drop this slot maneuver is gone. <laughs> From pop star to slop star. 